All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to uh, set up SDR Angel software to uh, decode DMR so you can sit back and listen to it. So, as you can see here, I'm on the uh, repeaterbook.com uh, website. So, you just scroll down. We're just going to click on DMR repeaters. <clears throat> and you can uh, choose by your state or whatnot. So, we'll just say Ohio. We'll just say two meters. And, uh, lungs are open, they should be online. So, we'll just say, we'll just pick a frequency, but you just need to pick one that's, uh, you know, local enough that you can pick up. Um, you're going to need a RTL SDR dongle. I'm using the, uh, USB RTL SDR.com dongle the uh, version 3 silver one for this <clears throat> secondly we need to go to the github page for uh, SDR Angel and we're just going to run this on uh, Windows so we'll scroll down and you'll want to download this one and once you download it you'll just want to in unzip it then what we're going to do is let me minimize this here once it's downloaded we're going to put it in the folder of the program files so we'll just you'll just want to drag it over so as you can see it's in here somewhere because we're not going to install it right there it is we're not going to worry about installing it so once you drag it over we'll just go in and we'll hunt for the SDR angel uh, application file so you could just right click on that and create a shortcut to your desktop so once you're done with that I have the shortcut right here uh, so that's good to go the second thing you're gonna have to do if you don't have this set up is uh, you're gonna have to have the program called Zedge to install your uh, USB driver. Now, if you already use SDR Sharp or uh, HD SDR, you should be good to go. But with this, <clears throat> once this is open, you'll want to list all devices. Then you need to find yours. I have a lot going on here, but it should be something like this. And mine is already set up, so I don't need to worry about it. But it should be something around in there, and you might not have all this stuff actually. Because, like this thing, I'm using it for my second monitor and everything. So, anyway, you need to make this match. So, you'll just click reinstall or uh, install driver and once that's successful we'll just get out of there and I'll put links I'll put a link on the uh, on the uh, description to my website for all this stuff so <clears throat> you won't have to worry about it too much so once that's installed all we have to do is we'll just run this 
Now, I'm, I'm running this as administrator. You might not have to. And just give it a couple seconds for it to come up. I have my recorder running too, so that's probably not helping. All right, so now that it's up, uh, you will see here the uh, SDR Angel program. So what we got to do first is we need to add our uh, RTL source. So if you click on this little finger here, it will come up. So here's my uh, RTL. So we're just gonna click OK. So now we're sampling at 1024. It's just set on 24 megahertz for, for now. Uh, your gain you may have to slide this down it may be like that you can just slide it down there so you can see it so we could turn the gain up a little bit now you're going to have to find the frequency that's close to you so i'm going to put mine in and i'm using the little scroll uh thing on my mouse to change the numbers the little uh whatever you want to call it the wheel on here so we're going to go ahead and select dc so right here is where we need to select the dsd so once we select the dsd we can hit the plus now that throwed it up over here which is uh, not a very good place for it. So we're going to go ahead and start this. And as you can hear it a little bit, I got some audio going on. So if you take your cursor and put your cursor on channels and drag it, and since that is a different color in the background, it'll fit right up in there like that. So we're going to scroll down like I'm doing here. Now it's a little slow. This shouldn't look like this because my computer is like wigging out because I got everything going on at one time. But we'll see if this straightens up. Alright, so there we go. So this is a, a little squelch thing here. So if we turn the squelch and open it up a little bit. Then this is set up that you only have voice coming out of one speaker, not the other. So we can go ahead and select both of them. And we can merge these together. Like so. If you want to mute, you can mute it right here and we have the gain so as you can see it's a little cutting in and out a little bit i'm just using an antenna that's sitting here on the uh, desk so it's not the very best of setup now one other thing i want to show you is you should have something right here especially if you have your squelch at a minus 100 but I don't so I don't know if it's because my computer is running behind or not because of my uh, screen recorder 
But if you look over here, you will see several different things going on here. So if you click that, it'll run or it'll run backwards from uh, bottom to top, not top to bottom. Now, if we hit that one, we can uh, get rid of that. Then we can put this one in. And if you don't want that one, we can put this one in. Or this one. So that's whatever you prefer. So, <clears throat> you just got to find a, a DMR frequency that is going to work. And, uh, yeah. and play with it a little bit. Get to know how it is. So we'll go through this one more time. So to add an RTL, you click on the add button. Then you select your RTL from under there and hit OK. Then it should pop up like this. Then for uh, DMR, you want the DSD. Then we'll just hit the little plus beside it. And like I said, it would throw it over there. But you could actually drag this out of the window totally if you'd like. So you don't need to keep it in the window you can have it on another screen if you like or have it up here or however you like it then just use your uh, put your cursor on it when it's like that to drag it up and down and whatnot so But, uh, but that's what it is, and the nice thing about it is, let me mute this, the nice thing about this is you don't need virtual cable or nothing like that, but, uh, <clears throat> you can, uh, pump the audio out then if you need to do your audio you got that right here your logging and stuff here you can uncheck some of this if you don't want it all on the screen So that's how you decode uh, DMR. It's really nice. You only need one RTL. And uh, I think this program supports uh, four RTLs at one time. Now you might need a, a decent CPU and, and stuff like that. And maybe a powered uh, USB hub, which that's what I use on my computer. I uh, when I use my uh, RTLs, I use a USB powered hub because I'm running a mouse and another screen off of it, and my dongle and stuff like that. So I have a seven port USB hub. <clears throat> so but that's about it, folks. So I'll throw a link in the description and uh, to my website and I'll have all these uh, URL links to download everything and 
this video and a couple pictures or whatnot. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank <laughs> you.